hi guys welcome back to my channel thanks for stopping by i appreciate you if you are new here you are welcome remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell sign so you will be updated each time i post a new video what are we talking about i want to mention some things certain things i have noticed about the way people communicate you know, we Nigerians or Africans, well, I wouldn't say Africans because I don't know what happens in um, other climes. We Nigerians, we don't, we are not proud, most of us are not proud of our languages, our indigenous languages, you know. You see an Igbo man in his house, his children, they don't speak Igbo. Hausa man, but I know that Hausa people and Yoruba people, they, they are trying. They are doing well. You know, I had this encounter with a client. The, she, she called in and the voice prompt will tell you to choose your preferred language. She chose Igbo. And um, I was attending to her. I, we, are, we are speaking. She was trying to make some complaints. In the, in the middle of the conversation, she felt maybe I was not giving her attention. She was talking and I kept quiet, trying to get what she was complaining about. She got angry, accusing me of not uh, listening to her. That uh, what uh, I, I I needed to know was that she also she's an educated woman, and um, I, I, I you know that I wasn't treating her right. I said, Madam, what is the problem? She said that she can as well as she can speak English. That she's educated. You know, she started feeling like an inferior person because you are speaking the evil language doesn't make you inferior. She was angry with me. That is the language she forgot that she chose that language you chose to communicate in that language nobody forced you that you're speaking your your local language does not make you uneducated because your language is is your identity you want to throw away who you are because you want to play someone else so people even go as well as speaking what the, the shouldn't even say mixing it up just to please others or just to feel i, I, I among you don't need it you know, things have really changed. In those days when we are kids, uh, and, you know, somebody visits, you know, you have a, a visitor in your home, and, you know, some set of, some refreshments are set before the person, and you're hovering, hovering around the, the area like a butterfly. Your mother needs to just look at you once. Just one look, and you will understand what she meant. Because in that look, you know, was embedded, if you do not live here, what I would do to you, you will not like it. In that look, <laughs> well, if this visitor leaves, I am going to deal with you. In that look, so this is what you do, even after her, I have taught you not to come around when there is a visitor. You know, so many things there, but not there anymore. If your child, if somebody visits you now, you have to even speak to your children in, in English. The person, the visitor will hear. You don't need it. Or you walk into an office. Ah, you're a new person. You walk into an office. Feel, ah, look at this, my brother, Mr. Chukun on so Omobiko. You go close to him. Hey, good morning. Say, yeah, good morning. How may I help you? Ah, you now adjust yourself. Say, okay, this one <laughs> doesn't want to communicate at all. Whatever need, whatever you see that you maybe you came for an information or maybe you come to submit your uh, letter of uh, application letter or something, just know that he will tell you, oh, meet the lady at the reception. She will attend to you. But if he's an outside man, he walks into an office, an outside man walks into an office and he sees a fellow outside man, he's Rakadede. Whatever he came there for, he was he would definitely live with it. But not us. Our culture is our heritage. You don't have to feel inferior. You don't have to let people like you because you're speaking English. English is a borrowed language. It's a second language as a matter of fact. No matter how much you speak it, no matter how much you love it, you cannot speak it like the white man. You, mo you will always speak it with an accent. Don't laugh at the person speaking English. Oh, mm, see the way they are speaking it. The Igbo man. Now, so that they speak. I was some man. I don't say that they speak. See Yoruba man. See their accent. That is how it is. You cannot be more English than the English man. So be proud of your heritage. Be proud of your identity. Because if you find out that if we do not speak these languages, a time would come, they will become extinct. Especially Igbo language. You are in, even in some people in the village, even even you know where, in the in their homes, the children speak English. They don't speak Igbo. They don't even know it. Simple ones, this one, you want those simple, simple ones. Let them know how to speak 
the simple, simple ones. From there, they will graduate to another level. After all, when they go out there, when they go to school, they will teach them how to speak English. You are a trader, you don't know how to speak English. Don't feel bad. Speak the one you understand. Speak the one you are comfortable with. You are comfortable with speaking pidgin English. Go ahead. Nobody will crucify you for speaking your language. Let us stop all these things that we are doing. Some people, they, they, you know, they take joy in looking at people, deriding others that, that, that don't know how to speak the English language very well, fluently. What is it? You don't have to make anybody feel bad. And you that they're making you feel bad and you're allowing them. Why? Speak the one, the one that you, you are okay with. Go ahead with it. If you're calling a, an office, an organization, and there's a voice from that says in Igbo, in uh, Yoruba, and all that, and you know that you can communicate well in this language, you're lodging a complaint. And in this language, if I'm lodging this complaint in this language, I will, be, I will tell this person what actually went wrong, or how they annoyed me, or how they offended me, or how I am not impressed you know, with the services they offer. Speak the one you are okay with. Don't go and be speaking English and bringing big, big words, big, high-sounding words that you do not know the meaning. Don't mind what people tell you. And it is not a mark of illiteracy. Your language is your identity. It is who you are. Take it away from you. Who, who are you? You become a nobody. You don't have any language. So where are you, where are you, where are you from? Nowhere. Oh, you are from everywhere. You cannot be from everywhere. Don't let people make you feel bad. Don't allow people to put you in a box to tell you how to think. Because friends are some people when they get to a certain gathering, they don't they don't say anything. Each any 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 time somebody communicates, he will just smile. Hmm, you laugh hmm. because he doesn't know what to say. He feels that oh, I don't belong here. And if you know that there is a circle you go to and they make you feel bad, stop going there. What are you going there to do? Don't go there. You can speak pidgin English. Pidgin is also a language. You can speak it if you're okay with that. Some people don't speak English. Maybe they don't know how to speak it. They did not go to school. Speak your own language. You can do a lot with your language. There are people on YouTube, they don't speak English. It is their language that they use in communication. And there's nothing you can do to them. Look at Asian children, all these Asian people in Nigeria. That their children have not even traveled to their countries before. They speak their language. How did they learn it? It's their parents that taught them. The Chinese man doesn't care whether you understand his language or not. If he's speaking English, you think that he's speaking Chinese. Their food, their food, they have Chinese names. They don't try to rebrand it, give it English name. But look at our local foods, Igbo local foods. Abachana is a African salad. Where? How? How? Abacha is abacha. Akarana akara is a bean cake. Choice is bean cake. Moi moi na miyani that moi moi is um what do you call it bean pudding for what moi moi is moi moi akara is akara stop uh, uh, anglicizing everything don't give them English name so that we know what we are eating okay that is how it is I don't know what they will be calling okwa okwa I don't know English name I don't know okwa's English name oba does he have an English name Stop giving the things English names so that uh, the, 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 okay, give me, give me, give me Ab uh, African salad. It is abacha. Abacha. You know, agora agora with, you know, one and the uh, uh, abacha and all that. Stop uh, all these ones. We cannot throw away our identity. If you don't want to belong there, leave it. If the thing does not have an English name, it does not have an English name. You just tell the white man, this is our local food. If you eat it, you will like it. So what is the English name for Opa? Opa. Does Opa have an English name? When tomorrow night they will find that and they will, they will look for a name and give it. It doesn't mean all these things. We don't need it. Stop feeling inferior. If somebody does not like you because of the language you speak, so be it. Speak on. Teach your children. Let your children know where they are from. Let them know how to speak their language. Because they will go somewhere and they are speaking their language. They will, they will sell them even when they are evil people. Your children will be there smiling. <laughs> they are selling him. They are selling her. And you, they are there. They don't know that this guy is speaking Igbo. He's telling them that, you see, I will leave these people here and, you know, do whatever you want to do with them. And they are there smiling. They live with them and say, okay, I'm coming. They are still there. Let them know how to speak their language. When they go out there, they go to school, everywhere, they will learn how to speak English. 
so that they will not start feeling inferior when they travel and see their mates, you know, blasting in their local language. If people are abroad could teach their children how to speak their local language, why can't we in Nigeria do the same? And you, that your people are making you feel bad about your language, forget it. Leave that circle. Most times it is ignorance that make people to do what they do. When you are not knowledgeable about anything, you become, you become ignorant in that area. And you are not you you don't flow, you don't feel free to communicate. So be proud of your Igbo language, of your Yoruba language, of your Hausa language. If they don't like the way you speak it, that is their problem, not yours. Well, <laughs> that is it. Well, I just felt that uh, some people need to hear this. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you are still here and you have not subscribed to my channel because i noticed that people watch some people watch my videos they don't subscribe sometimes you have up to two thousand views three thousand views and it's not reflecting you know in your subscription please if you're here and you're watching kindly remember to subscribe to my channel just click the subscribe button you don't pay anything for that you're already here you already spent your data please don't leave without subscribing thank you so much i'll see you again next time please Stay safe. God bless you. Bye.